Hi there, I'm Rob Schmidt, and this is Bias Bash. After President Trump's headline-making White House press conference on Thursday, he tweeted that, quote, fake media is not happy. The president defended his first uh, month in office while at the same time taking his feud with the media to another level. With the media challenging claims made by the president, is it the best idea for him to put himself on the front lines doing these press conferences, or should he leave that to his communications team? Here with his reaction to this is senior editor of the National Review, Jay Nordlinger. Jay, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you. I think we start with, uh, everybody's talking about it, and I think everybody had a reaction to it. What did you make of that press conference on Thursday? Trump was Trump. Yeah. He was his true self. It was pure Trump in style and substance, if I can use that word. And uh, if you like Trump, you loved it. You lapped yeah. it up. If you don't like or love Trump, you didn't like it so much. Yeah. But he was definitely himself. He certainly was. Do you think he's, is he doing himself a disservice to have these press conferences, or is he helping himself? Well, his fans love it. Yeah. And uh, you can't go wrong when you're on your right, sorry, when you're on the right, yeah. by going after the media. Yeah. I've done a lot yeah. in my career, the, the dread MSM, the mainstream media. Right. And you get your base all ginned up. The right adores it. But, of course, he has to govern the whole country now. It's a big country, right. 320 million people. Everyone split. Uh, he won in the Electoral College. Trump did. Yeah. Hillary won the popular vote. So it's a sharply divided country. And I find there's not much middle ground when it comes to Trump. I don't think there are many lukewarmers no. on Trump. He has his enthusiasts. And he has people who, you know, quite the opposite. Can't stand so. him. Yeah, and I, and, and I totally understand that. He did, however, though, we have to say, he, he did make some factual errors in that press conference. There were things... Uh, that he said that were not true. The most noticeable one was the one about the Electoral College and his victory mm. being the biggest since Reagan. Mm. And, and that was wrong, I think, uh, in three different elections since then. Uh, there's been, there's said been larger that wins. Elijah Cummings canceled a meeting on him because it would look said, bad yeah. for him politically. And he said that. About and, the Koch Elijah Cummings came out right out. after and said mm. that that wasn't true. Hey, you know, yeah. that, that's where I'm, I'm trying to get to is that, I mean, Here, making mistakes like that, is he doing himself a disservice by having these press conferences when he's saying Rob, things this that are is, true? This is a weird thing to ask, but I wonder do people care? about these lies and prevarications. I, I'm not sure his fans do. Uh, they say it's Trump being Trump. He might be a, someone told me once, Trump's yeah. not a liar, he's a BSer. Yeah. And this fellow insisted there was a difference. I don't really know, but he's been like this for a long time and he did win the election. Yeah. So he must think my style has gotten me this far. Why not keep it up? And I, I did read one tweet from somebody, and they were responding to a journalist's Twitter, and, and they, they put it just the same way. They said, you know, it's more of a salesman, almost like a BS, like a salesman. Yeah. This is a salesman exaggeration. It's, yeah. not, it's not that he's lying. It's that he's really trying to make a point by making an exaggeration. Hmm. So I don't know how you can make that with the I, – I think he did admit that he made a mistake with the Electoral College thing that he said, but I think in other ways, I think that, yeah. might be, that might be an easy way to sell it. The media, though, I mean, obviously, they, 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 they attack it immediately. As soon as they see, I saw on MSNBC that they just went after him, and they were just like, this was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong, and sure. they're quoting PolitiFact, quoting Politico, you know. That's the job of the press. Yeah. But, of course, someone has to watch the watchers, too. Right. Uh, that's an old line. Right. So sometimes the fact checkers aren't right. But I think that a lot of us, we like a robust, independent, freewheeling, aggressive press when they're going after a leader we don't like so much. Yeah. And when they're going after someone we like, we say, oh, that lousy press. Right. So they, we, if I may, have an important job in a democracy. And it's not necessarily our job to please people. Yeah. That's more of a politician's job. And I think everyone's trying to make sense of a, just an administration and a president that does not do anything that we have ever seen before. So It's what he promised. That's, right. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. All right, Jay, thanks so much for coming in. To hear more media analysis of this week's top headlines, catch Media Buzz with Howard Kurtz on Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern and again at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. I'm Rob Schmidt. Thanks for watching.